guys, this is Leon San of TOZ Chat Panel. It's been a year since I've recorded. Oh, yay. How's that been fun? Woohoo! Yeah! Oh, boy, oh, boy! Oh, okay, I'm getting off track. Anyways, we've got a special fun topic tonight from the fan community. Something that is terrible and dis- disgusting and horrendous. Okay, I-, I can't, I can't. It's just something that we're going to kind of nitpick at because we're a taku and that's what we do. So, anyway, um, our, um, I got three guests with me on the TLZ chat panel tonight. She dubs and various things. Her name is Sinju. How are you doing today? Doing good. Doing good. good. Yes, got it. Um, we He is the host of his own um, Let's Play channel, the Arcade Corner. He Let's Play through Sunday nights at 8 on Twitch TV slash Arclad84. It's Arclad. How are you doing, man? You seem to love to really <laughs> promote oh, me a lot. Yeah, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what's up? He'll be popular, guys, one day. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, just keep on promoting the shit out of him, man. Just keep on saying, subscribe and thumbs up. Thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe to him. Subscribe, thumbs up, subscribe. <laughs> and then, <laughs> the last um, co-host, he does Toonami. He is the host of Toonami's Back Bitches, the voice of Tom, is Leon Rambo. How are you doing, dude? I'm doing good. How's everybody doing today? Doing great. I'm doing awesome. awesome. I, man, my body is ready. My body is ready. Um, <laughs> <laughs> your body is always yes, my ready. My body is always <laughs> ready. <laughs> um, tonight, um, I'm going to let Arclad discuss the topic. Yeah, he'll introduce it. Go ahead. Okay. Um, apparently, the topic in question uh, tonight, I, I suppose I should ask the question, is... Um, is is a, a certain particular sprite animation series known as Super Mario Brothers E coming back? Is it continuing? Well, apparently, from what I from what I received in a recent comment uh, as of late, um, it's not it's not uh, Elvin Earthworm, aka Mark Haynes, that's trying to do it. There's apparently someone else that's uh, that's uh, attempting to continue it. In his place. Um, uh, ever since, if some of you may recall, uh, the last thing that uh, Mark Haynes did before he, uh, he put it in his own words, put the series to rest, at least for now, um, he last did uh, the first scene of episode nine, which uh, me and, and some others have, have had recently uh, went ahead and fan dub just making the last you know a sen- kind of a send off of sorts saying okay this was fun this is a good project you know hooray Yay. let's move on to some other good stuff you know? uh unfortunately like many, like many fandoms especially one that dr- well one's a uh, good popular series like this that draw quite a following uh some people just are finding it almost impossible just to let the series die. They just can't let it go. So, uh, I came across I came across the video the videos in question. There is apparently a um, a scene two, a scene three, and a scene four of episode nine. So, ba- basically, we're gonna let you leave the links in the description for you guys to watch and to judge yourselves. But this is going to be our observation on it, basically. And, um, the first thing I'm going to say is, what the f- Okay, what the heck is this stuff? <laughs> what, 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 what? Ugh. I, 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 I'm just kind of flabbergasted. Look, the animation is decent. Go figure. But the thing, yeah. the problem is the guy's not saying that it's my interpretation. It's not even a continuation of it. I mean... It's one of these things that kind of just irks anybody. I mean, yeah, sure, it irks you guys, right, co-hosts? It, it's a little weird, but... Um, I find it compl- uh, Honestly, like, if he were to say, It's pretty much like, if he were to say that if it was his own fan interpretation of what he thought was going to happen and not him saying it was quote-unquote the real freaking deal, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have an issue with it. Um... 
I, I felt like the sprite animation was alright, but there were some stuff that I'm just kind of like, uh, he needs, he needs some work on, he needs some work on this. Um, like the background at times, because like the background, I noticed that, because Alvin always makes the background, like in his, like when he did the animation, like he pretty much always like made the background move along with it. It just kind of felt very odd just seeing that the background just kind of stay in one place, like a still image, not even moving at all, while while the rest of it, while the, while the rest of the environment was pretty much moving along with the others during the fight or whatever, during some of the fight scenes. There was kind of a lot of jump cuts and the fact that yeah. everyone likes it. It's not like that I hate it. For me personally, it's just the fact that, man, look, man, this, Mark Haynes, who used to go by Alvin Artwork, took a, a hiatus or an indefinite hiatus, canceled, whatever you, way you want to interpret it, he's done with it. And everyone else has been all upset. So anything that comes close, anything that comes somewhat desirably close to the continuation makes them giddy like a Japanese schoolgirl. <laughs> you know, so uh, as as I as as I've as I've as I've noticed, um, uh, it, the, these these three videos have actually got garnered quite a, a few thousand hits. It's gotten. A lot of uh, positive comments saying, "Oh wow, this is this like this is you're doing this. You're you're gonna continue the series. Well, all right then. Well, uh, keep going. Let's see some more stuff." And I'm just I'm just sitting there looking at it. And I'm like, I really hope this. I was really hoping that this is a joke because, again, I mean, it's one thing if. If it's one thing, oh, you think he's being a troll? I don't know. Like slightly being a troll, yeah. It, that's one theory. Like theory. Like one theory, he's either being a troll, making it look bad, or two, it's more like um, if he does continue everything, then he's just he's gonna realize what the crap he did and probably go back to resorting like what um, Alvin or his form did. That's my theory. Those are my theories. Well. I, I did read that um, he's even though he's done he's 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 done uh, has made up his own scenes two three and four he did say he was going to try to go back and completely redo uh, the entirety of episode nine and then go from there so he's going to try to make a complete full episode in order to try to continue things. And you know, as far as troll videos on the, on of SMBZ goes, I've seen this. You get pe you get people that say that, that that say, "Hey, here's episode nine, or here's episode ten in this part," and they try to fool. I've noticed they try to fool people with, um, you know, the tabs, the tab icons, depicting like, "Yeah, this is the, try to make you think this is the real deal," and then the second you click on it, you start going through it. Sure, you may see a little bit of SMBZ, you might even see the title thing, it's like, oh, this is going to be an OS, this is a real thing, and the next thing you know, you see something completely yeah, random. like Rick Roll. Like, off the wall. I'm going to give you all, because I'm going to let you down. Yeah, it could be like a Rick Roll of sorts for all we know, yeah. And, you know, people turn around, you know, fans turn around, they got their hopes up, and they're like all pissed off, so it's like, what's wrong with you? It's like, you suck, you're an asshole. Thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down. Oh yeah. Um, <laughs> not to mention, it could also be Screamer too. Those this fucking Screamer yeah. moments where they decide to put it. Oh yes. No, where it's like, <gasps> just fucking put it right there. Uh, ear raping volume. I, now my blood crawl. It just makes the blood spill out of my ears. Now on my nose when I see a, like a hot chick, but just out of my ears <laughs> because uh, you know. <laughs> uh, SMBZ. It, it. Just like that new Pokemon. Oh game. yeah, P. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, <yeah, it's> <laughs> Yeah, it makes like yeah, it makes maybe it, it makes blood come out of yours. Not in the way where it's just like it makes blood come out of yours. We're just like, oh god, it's a lot. Oh, you know, and it's not that I hate this person who's making this interpretation of what he think is continued. I think it's too far fetched for me. I think it's rushed. Like you know. It like when I like it. It kind of does. It's yeah. like when someone has a fresh idea of some fiction. I'm like, wow, this would be working. Work instead of working through it and writing it down. It's like you just write it down right away. I'm guilty of that, fan fiction, yay. But 
at least it's you say it's your interpretation. I say it's my interpretation. I ain't gonna say it's continuation of SMBZ. Something is right. Yeah. On this. Now, if you don't, if you don't mind, uh, while we're on, also on the topic, I, there's a couple of other things as far as nitpicking goes. Sorry, I, I, I sure, gotta say go this. ahead. Nitpick um, away, my friend. Nitpick away. As far as um, okay, as far as as far as um, starting with with scene two, or yeah, scene two on this. Okay, as far as the fight in general, it's okay. I mean, it's I I could I guess I could kind of see that happening. Even though we don't know for sure that that's what Mark Haynes would have wanted, I can kind of see something happen like this. But my biggest, my biggest problem with that scene so far is when did, since when was Wing Cap Mario able to take an enemy, hold it in his hand, have it glow, float in the air, and then next thing you know, it's turned into a power. Because star. a sloppy fan fiction writer deemed it so. I mean, oh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I, I know. I know. They say don't question. You know, question logic and stuff like this. But I'm sorry. This. This is just too much. This just seemed too much. I had. I couldn't help but question that. I was like, Is that how Basilisk dies? Is that how they take him out of the picture and then move on to try to go through the rest of the the the, of the doom ship? I'm like, I'm sure something could have been done better than that. That just seems. Really I've never seen a there. death so half-assed as much as Sonic 06, when all of a sudden, oh, Dan gosh. Green comes out from the back and stabs Sonic in the back, and he's like, mwahaha, mwahaha. <laughs> well, the, you couldn't hear the magic effects of him are reappearing. Um, Mephilus. Yeah, man, that sounds like an STD, Mephilus, man. Oh, I got Mephilus. Oh, you do, man? <laughs> I got kissed by a princess while I was dead, so, you know, what's the lesser two evils? Anyway. <laughs> Um, but yeah, man, it's just, look, I'm not joking aside, man, it's too many jump cuts, the background's too static, I, I, the, the text boxes go by too fast, and like we were watching them play in a video game badly, it's like, oops, don't know what he said, but we're gonna play anyway. <laughs> oh, and, and that's, a, that's another thing I wanted to point out, um, the dialogue, the, the, the dialogue exchange between Sonic and them. That could also obviously use some work as well. I mean, I noticed a lot of a lot of grammar issues and such. That, that could be worked out. Um, and then suddenly, and then switching to the fight between Sh Shadow and Megasonic again. Um, I don't know why they couldn't. The guy couldn't use the keep it the same kind of set, desert setup as you know in C one. Because it looks like a complete, they're like in a completely different desert now. Unless the guy couldn't, this dude couldn't get like, I don't know, the same backgrounds or palettes or whatever. I don't know. And and it just seemed kind of weird seeing a a light blue colored shadow as he was powering up. I was like, okay, I haven't seen that before. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I just seemed kind of strange right, right there. I, I it's, it's just it's so weird and then the Koopa kids all of them standing there with them oh and scene four uh, yeah what? they wouldn't just be standing there more than likely what I would wait a minute this even happened in the episode he Bob just specifically told him get ready we're going after the princess he didn't say stand there conveniently as a plot device and let the heroes beat the crap out of you so they can save the day conveniently <laughs> just like happens to me in the Canada games yeah so Oh, you know what, Leon? I think I might take that Ramblin' spot after all. That Ramblin' spot in the corner. Oh, I'm really liking it. Yeah, just go back. No, bitch. Go back to your no. house. <laughs> 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 I'm not going to in her store. I've been too lazy. Uh, <laughs> screw you, Gumby. <laughs> but, <laughs> Sorry, I don't screw Gumbies. It's not my style. <laughs> screw you, Barrel Roll. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, but I don't, I'm not going to take a screwdriver with a Barrel Roll. I'm sorry. That's not, that's not my style. No. All in all, um, as far as as far as the scenes in its entirety, I'm just gonna say, I'll, I'll just put it this way. Um, I'm not hating. I'm not doubting this person's skill as a sprite I animator. Oh, joke, joke. I'm sure. To be. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can if you want, but it's it's not that the the, the 
in general that this writing was bad. I thought it was okay. It was decent. I, because trust me, I've seen worse. I've seen right. way worse than what this 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 dude's done. Um, the biggest, that's like I said, the boils down to it. The biggest problem is how he's trying to pass pass up saying that this is the official thing that happens next. This wasn't. This isn't his work. This isn't his series. It belongs to Mark Haynes. He was never going to pass the torch to anybody, regardless of how many times people were trying to pitch that idea to him on his DVR. Which, by the way, at this point, his Alvin Earthworm DVR has been deactivated, so that kind of says something right there that he's pretty much fed up with that. Um, but, but yeah, if if here's here's the biggest piece of advice. As far as far as, as what I could uh, try to give him some criticism on on this, okay. In case the guy is actually listening to this, if you can at least point out, if you can at least point out that this is his own idea, if this is what he thinks, his interpretation of what happens next, then fine. That'd be that'd be fine. Go for it do what you want to do on that just as long as you just try to say that this is your fan your fans interpret your own your own god i can't even talk right as long as you say that this is what you how you feel would happen because otherwise if you're trying to pass it up saying that this is a, the official real deal i'm sorry but you can't because you don't know that's what out what Mark Haynes was going to do. You don't know that's how it was going to turn out because this is his own vision, and nobody knows that vision but him himself. Nobody else. You see, there's a reason why he's not releasing like any any scripting, any ideas. He's not releasing any of this. He's not passing the torch to anybody else because he's afraid of what could happen with this series. He's afraid it could it'll get ruined, and it's understandable. It's not like it's not like he's trying to be selfish or anything. No, he wants this to be good because, according to one of to an associate of his that he apparently speaks with on DeviantArt, from what I gather, he's actually having doubts right now about whether or not to stay, keep this thing on, you know, whether it be canceled, definite hiatus, or eventually come back. And I'm hoping it will come back. It would be nice. It would be cool to see, to see some more again, but it's all up to him. And the fact that the, uh, the fact that a bunch of rampaging fanboys are just refusing to just try to respect his wishes and just move on, you know, you're getting a bunch of bunch of mess like this. So I guess I guess the term would be welcome to the internet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but say that, yes. but. Uh, well, let's see. I'll give. Uh, I we'll go ahead and finish up, Mark, and then send you a little next because it's I'm, oh, you're done. I'm done. You really, really, you're done. done. Really, done. okay. This is my thought. No, go ahead, send you. Yeah, any thoughts? Well, my thoughts on the um, on the flash is that when I was watching it, I just didn't think like I think he could do better. But honestly, I just don't think he can really make the cut because it's like in some parts you get to see the lines like where you move the sprites and whatever in Creative Maker. I thought honestly that was a troll move. And honestly, like I said before, I think he's either trolling people in a very, like, how do I say, like, gratifying, like trying to pull them in saying this is the real thing way. Or like he wants to do this and sometime probably he's going to get in trouble for this like someone will probably tell him and let him know about it and then just be like hey this guy's doing a series of your thing and blah 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 and probably all a whole bunch of drama will be brought up so that's what that's my opinion and Leon your closing statement sir uh, yeah, like, all I have to say pretty much about this is, um, you know, like, just, uh, if this guy wants to keep it going, like, if he wants to, do, if he wants to keep this going, then here's what I want him to do if he wants to keep doing this. Change it, change it to where he's, it's not actually, where he's not, 
he needs to change it around and actually stop saying it's the real deal because it's not. Because he doesn't know what the hell Alvin's actually thinking about what he wants to do with the series or whatever. He can't fucking read his mind. <laughs> um, and just say it's a fan interpretation of what he believes is probably is what he believes of what would happen. I mean, and also work on the animation because, it, you know, honestly, there were times when I was watching some of the, you know, going through those, you know, scenes two through four, where it felt choppy at times with the with the, how it just kind of went by with the pacing or whatever, where it where it was just trying to, it's where it kind of just jump, kind of feels choppy. Yeah, right. Yeah, I know, like two minute jump cuts. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's something, like, something like that. It, it just feels very awkward when that happens. I'm just like, uh, you gotta really work on that. I mean, the animation um, itself, like, uh, also there's something else that I also want to point out, like, uh, that happened in the Basilisk scene. Like, when he knocked Mario over when he was fighting him, like, instead of walking, going into walking animation, he just slides over to him weirdly. It's just like, what the fuck? Just get, just doesn't even, like, there's, he doesn't even go into hitting animation, he just fucking just slides right into him and Mario just goes flying, I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> like, well, well, what? Slip or slide, you know, um, like those slipper slides back in the day, you put the one there, there must have been a visible slip or slide there. I, I, I guess you could say that Basilix got on his weapon and <laughs> Pretty much. Um, anyway, uh... But yeah, joking aside, I mean, that's just, that's pretty much all I have to say. It's just that, uh, yeah, I mean, if he's not going to do any of that to improve or whatever, then he should just stop doing it altogether. Man, this is my closest statement. It sucks, it sucks, it sucks, it sucks. No, joking, joking, joking. Look, okay. I, I, realistically, I personally don't hate the person for doing it. I think it's a great interpretation. Let me underline that word invisibly, you know, in your mind. Interpretation of what could happen. I think that his work, I think his animation needs a lot of work. It's not bad for his first try, I believe. He really needs to, the pacing is important, like you said, Leon. You know, the, he has to identify like you said, Ark, that it has to be a fan interpretation of Shinju. Let's hope he's not trolling people because that'd be kind of bad because he's been kind of quiet on the comments lately. He's so hoping that it's his. But I don't hate him. I don't really think it sucks. I just think he's making some weird, weird, just some weird decisions. I'm not staying just saying, I'm just going to go ahead and continue it. You know, there's a difference between. You know, there's an unwritten law of fan work that I guess sometimes people usually forget. Unless the unless they don't give it up for download, unless they say the internet can have it, you don't touch it, you don't mess around with it. You know, like there's an aspect of dubbing. Alvin doesn't have no problem with Ark dubbing it. You know, Ark's dubbing interpretation of SMBZ. But Ark didn't say it's his completely. Ark still leaves the credits in there as the Tanami. Yeah, the Tanami back bitches does the same thing. This stuff is Alvin's. It not, doesn't belong to me, don't belong to Ark, and we respect the fact that he ended it. We even There's even a send-off video that Ark did. You know, so I mean, there's the right way of respecting someone else's fan work based off of video game companies, multi-billion dollar franchises that are released every single year in the video game industry and people love. And then there is... And I'm just really hoping he's not going the wrong way with it and not letting his passion blind, take him blinding down this road. There's is just a wrong way of interpreting it. That, that's how I feel about it. It's, I don't hate this person. I don't hate his work. I like the interpretation, but man, you just, just, it's just constructive criticism. You know, all joking aside, yeah. we don't hate you. We don't know enough to love you, but <laughs> as we said, it's just some constructive criticism and feedback. Hopefully he can not, I don't know, he'll take it a grain of salt or whatever. But, you know, we left the links down there for you guys to make your own interpretations of it. That's our own, and this is the chat panel. Yay. I haven't done one of these in a year. Oh, I said that at the beginning, I said at the end. Um, before I go, I'm going to see if anyone has any projects going. Hmm. Sinju, what you got going on? Is there anything you want to share? Um... I'm trying to think because I know I probably said a long time ago that we that me and Ark would do case two, but it's been put on hiatus due to you know you know Ark has his life and I do have my own life with my job and um, going back to cons soon. So hopefully sometime maybe 
this week, wherever, whenever it gets posted, that hopefully we'll get back on it again. It We'll, we'll see what happens. Okay. Arclad, how you doing? What you got? Where is my next episode of Phoenix Wright? Uh, uh, yeah, as far as dubbing goes on that, um, I... I'm still waiting on some more lines to come in from a couple people. Um, I'm hoping to have some more this weekend, and so I'll have plenty of material to work with and, and start fitting in. If I once I manage to get all that uh, and and get some uh, credits, some credits made, I'll find, hopefully I'll have uh, part three done soon. I can't give an exact date on that because you know I suck at that. I, plus, I don't want to give out I don't want to give out the uh, exact date. It's because they tend to bite me in the ass if I do. Um, as far as anything else I'm working on, uh, as far as LPs, uh, Arc Two, I'm working on. I've been working making some video footage, some some more episodes, which I'm hoping to upload uh, pretty soon. I just got an idea for one or two of them. I'm trying to. Uh, get some, maybe add some uh, voices, a couple of voices here and there. Uh, and I'm also still currently uploading um, some of past uh, streams that I've been helping, uh, like uh, every Sunday night. Um, I just finished putting up the last of Fable. There's ten parts, but keep in mind a lot of them are, are pretty long. Uh, I did. My, I try to divide them up. Uh, some a little bit, but they're still kind of lengthy. Um, let's see. Other than that, um, not much else going on at the moment that I can think of off the top of my head. I'm, I'm hoping to have maybe uh, have a new arcade corner going sometime soon. I haven't decided, fully decided what game to do yet, what the next game is yet. Um, I think, yeah. I think that's about it to report for now. Yeah, yeah, yeah do one all you need. So, Leon, how's how how are we doing on stuff? What you doing? Um, for me, like, there's a few fan dubs that uh <clears throat> that I have been wanting to get to work on. It's just that with work and you know just me being lazy as usual, I don't really know when they're gonna come out. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel you. Oh yay, now nah, back to the TLZ universe side of things. Oh yay. Um let's see. Eh, let's see. So besides this, ooh, what I'm hoping for this Christmas is to sit under the fireplace with some nice hot cocoa and read a story or two. What I plan on doing is reading one of my fan fictions to you guys. Peaky Pie and Me. Yes, you can shudder and fear and scream and cry. I, I don't blame you because I, I had seven dislikes but four likes. I like my own story too, but hey, I'm going to read it anyway because I love my crap. And if it's crap, I'll so be it. You guys are going to listen to it. Um, yes, my beautiful anime is Zeal, episode five is a Sonic Christmas special. Ah, yes, another nice treat there. Yay. Game on the Rocks episode 4 is just released. I don't know if I'll get episode 5 done because I'm just feeling freaking lazy too. I guess it, episode 5 must be about Resident Evil. Gotta do a Let's Play battle. Field 3. I gotta continue that because it's months old and I got him lazy. And what else? Hmm. Oh yes, Tsunami's Back Bitches 5. Last episode of Super Mario Bros. Z. Oh no. Episode 8 and 9. New shows that I will be placing. Um, Smash King. Leon, darn you. You got me watching it. I'm thinking of High School of the Dead is Whoa. going to be joining the lineup. Yay. Still continuing on with My Little Pony. They've been going to premiere the actual season one premiere. More Darkwing Duck, more Art the Lad. Um, I think in the Asha might be our Midnight Run movie, but I'm thinking that we might take it, make it separate. I'm not sure. We'll see. Yes, Toonami and Adults from Copyright to Cartoon Network 2012, all rights reserved. This is a fan based parody, and yes, I had to throw that in there just in case anyone's listening. But I'm not truly affiliated with those companies. Anyway, um,. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, the guy who doing the sprite work. It's just interpretation. I hope you clarify to everyone that. Let's say bye, everybody. Bye. Hey, so long. Later, everybody. Have a good night. Peace out. Yay.